How's it going, Kentucky? So this is Tyler Feaster with Outdoors in the Bluegrass. I wanted to do a quick video, well, hopefully quick. Uh, we all know how I like to talk. Uh, about the EHD and blue tongue virus that's affecting the deer population here in Kentucky. Uh, first and foremost, if you run across a deer that is either displaying symptoms or is already deceased, please contact Fish and Wildlife Management uh, and, and get them out there. You know, Contact them. They'll get out there and, and handle it the way it needs to be handled uh, and collect the appropriate data. Their number is on our Facebook page, but you can also Google it and find that it's a 1-800 number to make those. Um, second, we're not trying to cause a big pandemonium scare. That's not what we're doing. Um, when we did the white bass run, it was very informative for a lot of people here locally uh, to have that information and be able to go fishing, and, and it was helpful. So we kind of wanted to go along the same pattern. All we wanted to do is help, and so I thought it would be very interesting to collect the data since I saw so many posts already. Uh, collect the data on this online map powered by Google Maps uh, that actually allows us to put pinpoints in the map and put notations and share pictures and links to videos. So basically all the information that we've gotten for submissions, we've put on there and pinned them in the most close location is the information we can provide. They're not exact longitudes and latitudes of where the deer were discovered. Um, and we can't be 100% sure that these sightings that we're pinning are blue tongue or EHD because we're not pulling the blood. Now, in the post, if these people tell us that, you know, the, uh, the, the blood was tested and the EHD or blue tongue was confirmed, we'll share that information. It's all we're doing is sharing facts, collecting data, and seeing where the trend's at on this map. We can probably get a very good idea of where the big outbreaks are at, if it's spreading, how fast. That's all I want to do. I thought it would be very helpful for Kentucky hunters and residents to have this information available to them. So, please... Join our group. Uh, this Facebook group is called Everything Outdoors in the Bluegrass. That group is for you to share your adventures, sell your product, promote your spo uh, sponsors, businesses, whatever you have. You, you can do that as long as it's outdoors and you're not vulgar. Okay. But what we're doing in there is we're allowing people to share their sightings and encounters they have with deers that may uh, portray symptoms of the EHD or blue tongue virus. And then what we'll do is we'll take that information and log it on this map, which the map can be viewed online by anybody. Uh, with the latest information that we upload, if you go to our website, it is www.outinthebg.com. So thank you all again. That's why we're doing it, and that's what we're wanting to do. We're just wanting to be helpful. So if you see a deer that's that's dead and displays symptoms of EHD or, or blue tongue or is still alive and displaying those symptoms, remember, call Fish and Wildlife first and then share the information with us, and I think this will be really cool for everybody. Thank you all so much again for liking and sharing our page. We really appreciate it. I hope this video is quick enough for you and kind of helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message us or, or post a comment on one of our Facebook com uh, posts. We really appreciate everything. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. It's almost the weekend. Mm -hmm.